I'm at the Amsterdam Sloterdijk train station. I will take my bus from here. Okay, I arrived to the Denmark station. I met the Royal Danish Theatre. They have lots of fancy buildings. Here the soldiers are uh, changing their shifts over time. It's similar to many places I have ever seen. Okay. I met the famous Little Mermaid. As you can see there are many people here. Mm -hmm. Here in front of the English church you can see the map of the castellet and I'm right here. I made a tour, I saw the little mermaid, I made a circle and then I walk inside the castellet. Then I returned and I see the little mermaid again. Yes, I'm at the center of the star-shaped island and apparently this place is actually a military base. So we are only allowed to use the main road and not go to the other places or inside the buildings. But I like the red color of the buildings. Like I will give five stars. Here you can see the star-shaped island from the outside. I found a water fountain but unfortunately it's closed due to winter. Like I cannot feel. There is a famous fountain here but unfortunately due to winter it's not fountaining. <laughs> but here's a snake. Since the restaurants are too expensive, I had a cinnamon bun from a market and also a chocolate croissant. So this is my breakfast. These are the regular houses that the Danish people use. There is also another fancy building and they have a Matisse gallery, I think. This is the botanical garden, but I think it's in restoration right now. So I'm climbing the round tower and as the name suggests, it's round and it's like a screw. It's like helical going up to the top. This is the view from the top of the round tower. Luckily, going downward is way easier. I don't know why there is a spiral team going on everywhere in the city. That's called the Church of Our Savior. Let's see if I can climb to the top of it. I think I'm at the ghetto district of the Copenhagen right now. This is the famous Niharn port in Denmark. It is the picture that you see on the card postals when you hear about Copenhagen. Third of all, please remain seated. It's very important. Please remain seated until the end of August. Yeah, I'll tell you when you can leave. Now, with all of this being said, I think we're ready to start the real tour. So, first we start with the lowest bridge. Back in the day, this was the place where sailors came to drink and fight and get some company from I mean, the ladies of the night. Nowadays, it's a lot more clean. You can get a nice ice cream. Yes. I know it might not be the best angle. Uh, to be fair, nobody else is seeing it this way, so it's a very unique experience you're getting. An interesting thing to notice is that Lego is actually coming from ne Denmark. I am at the home country of the Lego. They put Louis Vuitton back on top of Lego bricks. 
This is one of the most popular streets in Copenhagen. I will try a traditional food called s'more brot. Uh, it has buttered bread uh, roasted and like it has salmon and caviar on it. At least try to eat it once while you are in Denmark. I'm here at the Tivoli Garden. It's actually a must do in Denmark, but I think I will pass it because I'm already overdue my budget and I think it will be much fun with a person, not alone. There is also Guinness World Records Museum and here you can see a one-to-one -one scale world tallest man and a shortest woman but I'm also late for entering. These are the last videos I'm taking from Copenhagen. I think I will move to Oslo soon. See you at Oslo then. Bye! I'm here at the Oslo bus terminal. The road was uh, good. I slept the whole time actually. I had a problem with the Swiss Swedish border. They questioned my travel plan and they didn't believe my plan. They checked my tickets and stuff, but yeah, I'm finally here. The temperature is way colder compared to Copenhagen. I'm at the Opera House and I will try to climb to the top of it. It was harder than expected to climb it because it's so slippery and it's not like a stair, it's just a ramp. So this is the view from the top of the Opera Building. You can see the buildings and things. This is the back side of the building. But you must be careful because the ground is really slippery and like there are not many places to hold. <laughs> That's the ramp you have to climb and go down. So be careful. You can also take a sauna here, but I think I will skip that one as well. <laughs> this place Vipa was also recommended to me, but of course I forgot to check if it's open and apparently it's not open. Sometimes I really don't understand modern art. This is the main port in the Oslo. You can see the Rathaus or uh, city hall and there are fountains but due to winter there are no water right now. Everywhere is ice. This is the Nobel Peace Center where they gave the Nobel Peace Award. I will also try to see the Nobel Prize Center at uh, Sweden tomorrow. I'm at the National Museum of Norway. And I don't want to miss this one because there is a special painting that I want to see.
We have a real nice moon tonight. I'm at the tip of the Oslo. Here you can see the view of the city from far away. Like it looks way better when you look from my eye. It's not that cap well captured in camera. Especially the moon. I'm at Frogner Park. This park has a lot of statues, but unfortunately they don't look that good on the night. I wish I was here during the morning, but and the biggest one is there, but it's dark. The monument was closed due to winter, but here are the some statues in here. Like this one is a woman jumping on a guy. This is a woman. This is another woman. <laughs> There's lots of nudity here. That's a guy celebrating something. A guy sitting behind a woman and there's a children <laughs> watching it. I, I don't know what it's experiencing right now. I am at the royal palace and I heard that the king lives here and it's weird that how close you can get to the palace actually. Currently I am at the Christmas market of Oslo and it's just next to the royal palace. You go down from the Charles Street and here it is. There is an ice skating pist and if you have your own skates you don't have to pay anything. You can just come here and uh, skate. We have a nice church here. In this city there are many free ice skating pistes, so you might wanna bring your own skates. A weird thing here, when there is red light, it has two different lights. I had some free time before leaving the city, so I wanted to climb to the top of the Opera building one more time. Last comments on Oslo. It's a nice city, but I wish I was here, not in winter, because the old roads were too slippery because of the ice. Also, some of the things were closed due to winter. But overall, Oslo is a really nice city. I heard actually there are way better cities in Norway because of their natural beauties, but I couldn't go there. This is it for Oslo. See you in Stockholm. I'm at the Göteborg Central Station. I have to make a transfer here at 5 a.m. Station will open at 3.30 a.m. And I have still like more than two and a half hours. I don't know where I can wait until then. Well, I upgraded the train travel. I am at Stockholm. I met Vasa Museum and this is one of the most visited Scandinavian museums. It has a real size ancient ship that was actually used. In this museum you can see many items from the ship. I'm at Drotnik, Drotnit Tagan, Drotnit Tagan Street. This is quite a famous street in Stockholm. As you can see, it's really crowded here. Meatballs are also a must, but I'm also over my budget, so I will skip that too. My next steps doesn't look good on the video, but I will try to add the photos so you will get the feeling of this place. This is the ship that will take me from Stockholm to Turku, Finland. 
So this is the ship. You can see the inside of my cabinet. It it has a bed. It actually has two beds. And I even have a toilet by myself. Like they thought about everything. I'm really happy to take this trip. İşte gemi bayağı iyi yalnız. Bundan sonra tüm yolculuklarımı gemiyle yapıyorum ve otobüsten çok çok az daha pahalıydı. Onun dışında aynıydı neredeyse. Okay, I'm still in shock of this ship's beauty because it's way over my expectations. Uh, the last three days I have been sleeping in buses or trains and now it's like it feels like a five-star hotel. I was putting lots of perfume on me. I was using a dry shampoo and I was brushing on the uh, clean toilets. And now I have a cabinet on my own. Well, this ship is probably the best travel I have ever had. I met Turku, Finland, and this place is the old capital of the country. And you can see from the buildings, they are way more ancient compared to other cities. I am at the Senate Square and they say it's the most important thing in Helsinki. For me it's just a big building but and try, I will try to climb the stairs. I hope I won't fall. This is the view from the top. Well this is another important church. Thank you.